Why, hello there. It is 14 days until Elden Ring comes out on February 25th, 2022. I love hearing 14 days. We are about to be under two weeks until Elden Ring comes out. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm so excited. And there was a lot of stuff happening surrounding Elden Ring. Today we got physical copies at warehouses and storerooms. We saw some pictures floating around of physical copies of Elden Ring. Stuff is kind of happening on Steam. The specs showed up for like a, a moment and then they got pulled down and they're probably not accurate. But so something is happening with Steam there. They're getting stuff up, maybe. And also there's a Red Bull Gaming Elden Ring event coming soon, apparently. So look forward to that. And for the episode today, we are going to talk about the latest Elden Ring tweet, which covers two new starting classes. And then we're going to talk about the item description for the day. Let's get into it. So the Elden Ring tweet for today brought us the Bandit and the Astrologer starting classes for Elden Ring with some concept art as usual. And we will start with the Bandit. The Bandit says, a dangerous bandit who strikes for weak points. Excels at ranged combat with bows. We've seen this dude in an unfortunate looking matchup against Winnie the Swole with dual daggers. And we've also seen them excelling with a bow in Stormvale. And I have to say, the bandit is looking good and what a glow up since Dark Souls. And then we have the astrologer who is a scholar who reads fate in the stars. Heir to the school of glintstone sorcery. We saw the astrologer in action at the Taipei game show as well. And this astrologer is the heir to the school of glintstone sorcery. And I like the astrolabe on her belt. Our old friend, the telescope item description tells us that the carrion astrology withered on the vine during the age of the Erd tree because the golden order fettered the fate writ in the night sky. But prior to that, during the height of the carrion royal family in the academy of Rhea Lucaria, they were very interested in astrology as well as glintstone. And although the practice died down in the lands between with the golden order, it continued on with the exiled tarnished. Astrology and glintstone go hand in hand, as astrology is the study of the movements of celestial bodies, and glintstone sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, according to Selen, as glintstone itself is a starry amber. It'll be interesting to see how glintstone entities like Caria, Rhea Lucaria, and the Eternal City got along with Merica and the Golden Order. I suspect that Carrion Astrology didn't simply go out of fashion as much as it was stamped out by the Golden Order, who prefer to fetter fate and conquer the stars. And now for our item description today, we're getting into a new block of item descriptions talking about sleep. And we are starting off with the Moon Egg, which says, Owl eggs that will never hatch. Material used for crafting items, prized as a symbol of the most sublime slumber. So as I mentioned, this is the start of a collection of items about sleep, and they all have dark undertones to them. Such as the moon egg here that suggests that the best sleep is never being born. This one also has the added bonus of being connected to the moon, a celestial body that looms extremely large in the night sky over the lands between. Could it be that there is something slumbering in the moon? I don't know, but Miyazaki and company promised us some good moon content, and I can't wait to find out what that is. And there you have it, day 14. We are going under two weeks until Elden Ring comes out. Next week is going to be chaos, as is the week after, I suspect. But it's exciting in the lead up. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you want more item descriptions and news and stuff going up to the release of Elden Ring, and then after the release of Elden Ring, if you want more lore content and game talk and just going all in on Elden Ring, please consider subscribing to The Lore Hunter. Thanks for watching.